know a lot of you guys know me for my keto content and more recently I went ahead and opted out of keto and I'm changing my whole vibe as it's going to my health journey right I'm taking more of a fitness approach but way back when your girl was a Weight Watchers girl yes 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 I was a Weight Watchers look I was a Weight Watchers girl before before YouTube too but I was a Weight Watchers freestyle girl, and that was one of my very first videos to do well. It's no longer Weight Watchers. WW had came out with a new program. I was like, well, let me see what it's all about. Let me do a little research. Let me deep dive. Do I recommend the new WW program? Would I recommend it to you? Do I recommend it to anybody? So I think it's just a marketing ploy. What are my thoughts on WW personal points Weight Watchers personal points. Do I recommend their plan? Do I think it's a marketing strategy? Or do I think they're just, you know, BSing us all? Let's get into it. You know I got you. No smoke screens here. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty and we're gonna talk all facts and truths. What are my thoughts? Do I recommend Weight Watchers to you? Stay tuned, let's get into it, my friends. Hey, how are you? Welcome, let's hug. Welcome, hi, how are you? Come, hi, sit down, have a drink, coffee, water cocktail, whatever. If it fits your points, fits your macros, if it's low carb, I don't care. Have it. Have at it. Anyways, hi, how are you? My name is Danielle and this, my friends, this little corner of the internet is Daniela Diaries. Uh, over here, it, we're, we're just real friends, talking real life things and these are just pages out of my everyday diary. If you guys are new here, welcome. I hope you stick around. Hit the subscribe button and please give this video a like so YouTube can stop playing me and let me be in the algorithm game. Okay, gang gang. Um, today I want to talk about Weight Watchers and the new Personal Points program. So a little backstory. Hi, how are you? I got married to my husband in March of 2009. And I knew I was going to be in pictures and I had gained a little weight because you know when you fall in love you get a little chunky because that's that love weight. And I was like, look, I got to look it for the wedding. So I joined Weight Watchers. I was working at a preschool and all the ladies at my job were doing Weight Watchers. So I was like, okay, I'll do it too. And I think at that, it was like the points plus program, I want to say. You used to have like a little calculator and there was like a book and you got points for things. And I did really well on that program. Also, I was 24 years old. So I did really well. I lost a bunch of weight and then like we got married. I had a baby like nine months later legitimately nine months later for any of the family members who do not believe she was in nine months okay carrying on um so yeah i i just i got chunky like really chunky and i ended up ballooning up to almost 300 pounds i was 286 pounds so it was uh it, your girl got thick real real quick and i started on a journey when i had my last daughter at 30 years old and I lost 120 pounds, 115 pounds. And I kind of just did it naturally. I didn't do it with Weight Watchers or anything like that. I just did it with just tracking my food and working out on my basement. And towards the end, I had seen that Weight Watchers came out with a freestyle program. And I had felt that I was just not, I had lost momentum and I was really influenced by the influencers here. Um, mostly Felicia Her Keetherly, Herderly, and I thought she was like crazy. I was like, wow, this girl is super motivating. And I was like, I want to be like her. So I did the Weight Watchers freestyle program. And boy, oh boy, I failed at that miserably. I will give the Weight Watchers freestyle program a zero out of 10. That was the worst one I've ever did. All the free foods, it was garbage. It, it was it was really garbage. I was I just ate. I kept losing and gaining the same five pounds. It was awful. It was awful. I did not have any success on it. And I quit and I went back to a ketogenic diet and I kind of just flipped flopped with that for a while. And um, until most recently I decided to um, focus more on weight training and stuff like that. But that's another video for another day. If you guys want to look at some of those, check the playlist. So I had seen that Weight Watchers came out with a new program. So I was like, I want to see. Let me do some research. So Weight Watchers comes out with a new program. It's the, they don't even call it Weight Watchers, WW Personal Points. And I'm going to tell you this. I am thor thoroughly impressed with how they are executing this. I feel like Weight Watchers has gotten a lot of, first off, it wasn't 
it lost its popularity because of the rise of keto, right? Everybody started to do keto and Weight Watchers kind of fell to the back. So they knew that. And then people weren't having as much success on like freestyle and everything like this because of all, they, there was no control. You cannot tell people who have, you know, essentially an overeating issue that you can have unlimited amounts of free food. It's just, it made no sense. So I feel, and, and not everybody's fit the same. Not everybody's fitness levels are the same. Not everybody's health um, conditions are the same. Each person is individual and they kind of feel like they put a blanket diet down for everyone and all they really cared about was like your point value. So I went through and I took the assessment for the new WW plan and I was very excited because these plans now, I feel like they list, you guys spoke and they listened. These plans are more individualized and I appreciate that. They take your age, your weight, they take your health conditions. Hey, are you a diabetic? Okay, well, if you're a diabetic, then we need to let you know that we're not going to be able to give you all these carbs. These carbs are going to be worth more than, you know, worth a lot of points. Um, they ask you, what do you like to eat? Because obviously, if you they give you stuff that's free that you're not going to eat or, you know, lower in points, they say they give you a bunch of meat that's lower in points, but you are a vegan or vegetarian and it's, it's pointless, right? So they really are trying to get to know you, the app user, the customer, the dieter, or the, the, the eater, um, and they wanna make sure that they can assemble a plan that works for you. They take all different types of macros into consideration, whereas before it was only, um, they're taking fiber into consideration, fat, proteins, and all this stuff to accumulate, to kind of calculate a point value. Each person's points will be different. You will get like weekend points, you get exercise points. The more you work out, the more points you get to use. You know, it, it it's like, it, I like it because they're encouraging working out. They're saying, hey, if you get up and you walk for a half an hour, we're going to give you three points. I made that number up. We're going to give you three points. Three points, that might be a bowl of ice cream or something. You know, it might be like the sugar-free Haagen-Dazs or whatever, but you're still moving and then you're still making better decisions because essentially your points are your money, right? And you're going to want to get the most bang for your buck. So you're going to spend your, your, your points on the things that you can get a lot of. So maybe you can have a six ounce uh, chicken breast and that's only two points or for, you know, 10 points, you could have a cheeseburger from McDonald's, but you only get 20 for the day. So, you know, they, they have you thinking you're, you're really sitting down and you're pausing before you're eating, you're pausing before you're ordering and you're really taking into consideration what you are putting into your body. And for that, I applaud them because I felt like the previous programs were kind of like, that's free, that's free, that's free. Yeah, 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 eat, 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 Oh, and then they would give you like this, this, this gimmick where it was like, well, if you don't lose weight, if you don't, the first five pounds are free, and if you don't lose your weight, you'll get your money back. And then I try to get my money back, and they're like, well, you didn't come in, and we don't know, and they would, they would never, you never get your money back. It's a lie. Don't let them, don't let them fool you. So... With this new program, I feel like they've taken the user into consideration. They're really trying to get to know you, your needs, your lifestyle, your age, your activity level, and your health conditions. And they're making an individualized uh, diet for you or way of eating for you. And I think that's wonderful. I like the fact that they're not looking at each person as a group and they're more focusing on the individual as itself. And I feel like a lot more people will be able to get better results with this. And I feel like with whatever way of eating you choose, whether it's Keto or Weight Watchers or Atkins or Jenny Craig or whoever the case may be, as long as you're pausing before you're eating, as long as you're thinking about the things you are actually eating and you're making better choices because you're like, hey, do I wanna have two oranges for three points or do I want to have a fun size Snickers like the little tiny squares for three points which one's better and you're like dang I'm not going to get full off of this but I can probably hit that sweet tooth and get some nutrition in with this one let me go ahead and make this choice you know because if you think about it in terms of money you know what I mean we all want to 
get the most bang for our buck, right? So I, I think that's really wonderful. As you know, it's the beginning of the year, so they're having a sale. And I want, I don't, I'm not like an affiliate or ambassador or anything, obviously. But um, I do know that they're offering 55, look, I'm going to get you a free coupon code right now because I'm going to use my Google for it. Um, all right. So it's saying get four months free and save 50% on select plans with no starter fees. I think you just need to go to it. Yeah, so right now until January 31st, you're able to get four months free and 50% off if you sign up right now. So I think it's really great. They also have, it's a huge community, especially here on YouTube. I know there's a ton of people um, who follow along with it. They have Facebook groups. Even on the app, you can kind of meet up with people like that are in your area. I mean, you know, I like, talk to them, be cautious, stranger danger. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a really huge community. You can even choose with everything going on right now, I don't think they'll probably have an in-person meetings, but eventually I'm sure you can do. I used to do the in-person meetings and I love them because I used to get stickers and I wanted my sticker. I know it sounds minute, but that was like a reward and it was like a literal thing there where I can see it. Um, and I thought it was wonderful. So I really think that this new plan is going to be really beneficial to so many, especially if you are just starting out on a journey and you're looking to not eliminate an entire food group. I feel like maybe some people might find if they're just starting on a journey of weight loss and they never have before, it's been a long time, and they think of something along the lines of keto where you're completely eliminating most carbs, it might be a little... Um, intimidating so with the Weight Watchers you're basically able to eat whatever you want it's just gonna be how big your portion is gonna be and how much of it you can actually get to fit your points each points are gonna be different for each person if you're a man if you're a woman how tall you are they take this whole giant picture into consideration and the thing that I do also like about this is your say you fill out the questionnaire and you said and they'll, they'll ask you do you choose to eat would you rather eat oatmeal or would you rather eat like potatoes and you're like I don't like potatoes but I love oatmeal and then maybe like in a week you're like I'm sick of oatmeal I think I'd rather go with potatoes or let me try to change this options because I don't like the these options that I have you're able to go back and edit out everything and retake the assessment to maybe incorporate other food groups that you might actually enjoy more than the ones that you chose initially because they're basically going to choose your zero point or lower point foods based on your assessment. Again, making it super individualized for each user, which I think is wonderful. This is not a free program. I do know that they have iTrack Bites now. Um, I don't think it's called iTrack Bites anymore. I think it's called like healthy, um, they actually sent me an email because I used to follow it on there. I think it's called like healthy eats or something like that. Um, but again, I'm gonna try to look it up and see what it's called. Health, no. Is it just called healthy? Yeah. Um, healthy, but with an I. I don't know if they have the new program on there. They used to have all of the Weight Watchers previous programs. So maybe you did Weight Watchers in 2009 when I did it and you liked that program. They just renamed it. And I think it's significantly cheaper. But I wanted to touch on this new program because I don't know if they have it on their app yet. I didn't look into it because I didn't download the app and I only have so much app storage space. But I, I think it's a good idea. I think anything that kind of... Anything that you guys are trying to do that you're putting in the effort in, I stand behind it. Whether it's keto, whether it's Weight Watchers, Atkins, whether if it's just a calorie deficit and portion control. You are being mindful, you're putting yourself first, and you're trying to make the best decisions for you and yourself, and I applaud that. These are just my two cents and if I would recommend. And I didn't personally follow it, I don't personally follow Weight Watchers, but from what I've seen in the research and the kind of the programs and the assessment I took, I, I think it's a good idea. I don't think it would hurt anybody, I think it's a good way to start. Um, I think the plans are pretty affordable and if you were somebody who was like, you know what, I don't want to give up my carbs, I still want to eat them, I think this is a good choice. It won't hurt anything. Um, you'll be better off today, you know, counting your points than you are just eating anything, right? You're trying. So we applaud anybody who's just trying and anybody who's just trying to be the best version of themselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, 
as long as you are trying to fight the fight and make the good choices, we are here for it. So that is my ideas. That is my thoughts on the new Weight Watchers uh, Personal Points program. Yes, I recommend. I think it'll be a great option for anybody willing to try. I think if you wanted to try, now would be the time because you could save yourself some dollars. And then eventually you could probably do it in person. I think you have to do your re... When I remember doing it, you would pick your weigh-in day. So I used to do my weigh-in days on Saturdays and then um, go from there. So good luck to you. Let me know down below. Are you guys going to try it? Have you been on it? How are you guys liking it? If you guys are on Weight Watchers and you have like a support group, maybe leave them down below or, uh, you know, if you guys want to share your Instagrams or your whatever, your Facebook groups, so you guys can all support each other because essentially that's what this little corner is. It's just a group of friends getting together and helping each other through this, this life and being each other's support and friends and our, being our person because you guys are my people my people my persons you guys are that to me and I love you guys we're gonna hug I love you guys so much but all right good luck you got this don't be afraid you got this don't be intimidated you got this come on I believe in you I'll see you on the next one bye friends